Hello everybody and welcome to the table. Today we are taking a look at a brand new knife from Shield On Knives. So this one right here is called the Scythe. So before we look at the knife, you can see some of the stats right there. Uh, the Scythe, designed by DC Blades. We have handles with micarta and G10, stonewash finished blade, and this is just a wicked looking knife. And so that's what drew me to it. So let's take a look at this one up close and I'll give you my thoughts and do some comparisons as well. So take a look at that blade right there. So this right here is really the draw, in my opinion, to this knife. So it's that uh, peak hall style blade that we have right here. So that blade is a very much like a wicked hawkbill shape. So on video, in pictures, it's hard to get an idea of the size of this knife. So let me pull out the ruler really quick right here and just kind of give you an idea of the length of this blade. And so I'm not even gonna try to measure cutting edge, but you can see from right here, from the tip to the handle, we are looking at about two and a half inches long. And if we wanna measure the overall length here, we can see that the overall length of the knife is about six inches just in length alone. So it's a smaller knife. And so, you know, before we do anything else, we can make some comparisons. So I wanted to bring out some knives that would make for a good comparison with the scythe here. So we do have a Benchmade Mini Griptilian right here. So let's put those side by side. I think it compares very favorably in size with that. And now, of course, the blade style is going to be very different. Um, we also have the Kershaw leak. So let's bring out this leak and we will compare these as well. So three small knives or smaller knives on the table. And you can see how the scythe compares to those two. So just to give you an idea of what we're working with here, because one thing with knives in pictures, in videos, they often look larger than they are when you get them in hand. So be aware of what you're buying with this one here. But really for the size and for the design, I'm really liking what we got here. So as you can see this blade, nice, very sharp, pokey tip. 154 CM steel markings on there. Nice stonewashed finish. So it looks really good. On the reverse side right here, we can see the model name, the scythe, and the maker's mark. So it says DC on there. So that's going to stand for, I assume, DC Blades. I don't know what that what DC stands for. Have not heard of these designers yet. But this is a collaboration, of course, with Shield on Knives. So we can see the Shield on logo right there. And I really like the, the, the pivot, the decorative pivot on this side. That's kind of a new thing. So I do like that. And uh, when it says micarta and G10 handles here, I'm not sure if it's some sort of a mix between the two, but we can see very smooth. These are, of course, black, all blacked out. It's very smooth in hand, feels really good. Um, no sharp edges anywhere. Full backspacer right here as well. And so when this knife is in hand, what's really nice about it is just the grip you get. Even though the handles are smooth, we get full jimping here along this backside of the blade exactly where you would want it. And then even on the flipper tab, so we have jimpy on the flipper, which of course will help deploy the knife. But when the knife is opened after it's deployed, that jimping helps keep your finger right where you want it to be. And so a nice short blade for various cutting tasks. Um, some might think of this more of like a martial blade, but really this could be super useful for any number of, you know, workmanlike purposes. And so the only, you know, re only downside to that is that this tip is going to be pretty delicate if you're going to put it through a lot of hard work. So losing the tip might be an issue, but um, really, really nice. To, oh man, just the look of this knife is, is crazy. So what I would like to see is this same style, this same design, maybe upsize just a little bit, not huge. I don't want a huge four inch blade or anything like that, but like this same knife with like a three and a quarter inch blade um, would really just fill the hand perfectly and would feel just right. Um, so this first design here being a smaller blade, I think they're definitely taking a step in the right direction here. I'd love to see it upsize just a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to release this in a lot of different color variants as well, because you could just imagine. I think this is going to be a big seller. It's just so unique, and it's and it's relatively affordable. So we have 154CM, G10, Micarta, and this knife is coming in at about $65. And that was the pre-order price I paid, so I bought this direct um, from... I, I would I assume is Shield On. Um, they had an Amazon listing, and this came direct from China. So these are definitely just my first impressions of the knife. Um, but really, one thing you might have missed, of course, we have this really nice wire pocket clip. So very much like a Spyderco style wire clip. 
and it's blacked out as well, and it is reversible for either side. So what's also cool about the design here is that it's very simple. We have a pivot screw and then the rear screw with the pocket clip, and that is it. So if you ever wanted to take it apart, it literally just takes a T8 bit. So one T8 for the pivot, one T8 for the, let me see if that's the right size, for the pocket clip, and that's it. So one size bit will disassemble this knife for you. Um, and right out of the box, you can see, of course, centering looks pretty good. Lock up, let's take a look at the liner lock right here. Also looks nice and early, so that looks very secure. Just have the closed design with that backspacer. And uh, the weight of this knife, for being so small, it's about what you would expect. So it weighs about 2.1 ounces. So it's a pretty lightweight style knife. So that's why I'd like to see it upgraded, not upgraded, upsized a little bit. Um, because it feels really good. And it's always going to be a little bit smaller than you might expect from pictures. So that's really the thing. So really, any, any downsides to this knife? Um, first impressions out of the box. The blade itself is not super sharp. Now, of course, this pokey tip is where you're going to start cutting almost anything. So by the time you poke into it, whatever it is you're cutting, you're going to have blade just wanting to slice right through it. So that is as expected. But the actual edge itself is not quite razor sharp. You know, cutting through paper, um, we can see that it kind of leaves a little bit of like a rough edge to it. So it's not slicing super cleanly. And I don't really blame them sharpening an edge. This, this angle is kind of awkward. Um, so I, I would expect that a lot of the knives from the factory may not have like a razor edge on them. More of a working edge is what I would say. But this blade is definitely wicked. That's the first thing that comes to mind when I see this one because it's just so unique. And I think it's going to be a really good seller. I'm glad Shield on, Shield on got in on this um, to collaborate with these designers. And so in full disclosure, Shield on Knives has sent me knives to the channel in the past to make videos on. But of course, this one I did pay for. I, there's no connection there at all. This one I just happened to see on sale and made the purchase myself. So really no bias or anything there. Um, so what's also nice about Shield on Whenever they send a knife, it includes a belt pouch. And now this isn't really the type of knife you would use a belt pouch with, but um, this is their equivalent of, you know, the zipper bag that so many knives come in nowadays. And it's actually more utilitarian. So I'm glad they include this. It's just a nice little extra that comes in the box. Better than nothing at all. So really cool knife design. I hope you enjoyed checking out this first look at this knife. Time will tell to see how, you know, well it fares in use. Um, I might try and get a sharper edge on this, or I might just use it as is and see, you know, how long the, the original edge lasts. But really a cool knife. Absolutely wicked in looks. I think I've said that word way too many times in this video, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Any comments, please drop them below. Hope you all have a knife day, everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.